Hi, Angel. Uh, first grade game. Um, earlier this week, you posted a photo of you and Simone Augustus in August 2011, what I assume is a Washington Mystics game. Can you talk mm -hmm. about the story behind that photo and being able to have your 18th double-double against an LSU legend in front of her? Yeah, my mom played with uh, Taj McWilliams that was used to play for the uh, Mystics. No, no links. And whenever she I could go to the game, she would always invite me to the games. And then I got a picture with Simone. I used to always go to the games. So that was always a special moment. And then to come full circle and being able to come to LSU and play at LSU and follow her legacy is, is really important. And I mean, I'm excited. I'm, it's overwhelming to see that I'm in a situation where I am listed with Simone. So I'm just, I'm just blessed and happy. So thank you. Hey coach, um, obviously Auburn's um, physicality and bigs um, on the glass, especially just what did you see uh, tonight from, from the rebound? I think you should get a post player to answer that. I, I, there were moments we were disappointed. I just felt like um, you can't get buried. Our rules, if your feet are in that paint and you're behind, you're in trouble. You have to do your work early. And I just thought that they just kind of ducked their head and just like, I'm, I'm posting up on you. And they did it to Samaya. They did it today. They did it to Angel once. I have to get our attention to make sure it's just an off night and not something that we just start doing because we think we're that good and we can block a shot. Do your work early. Coach, the longest win streak in program history continues. Just what does that consistency say about the team that you're building right now? We haven't done anything really. We've won games. We've won 18 games, and that's impressive. I get it. It doesn't matter who you play. We have beaten, I guess you would say, those that we're supposed to beat, and we've beaten them handily. But this is only my second year here, guys. We've got a long way to go. We've got to keep recruiting. You know, we lose some great seniors this year, and we've got to bring kids in. And um, it takes two or three recruiting classes, you know, to start what I call just really stability. And I think we're doing that. I think the transfer portal allowed us to bring in a lot of new pieces. Um, I'm enjoying coaching them. We got fatigued there in the second half. Uh, there was a spurt in the third, spurt in the fourth where we got fatigued. And then I just have a quick question for Angel. Uh, you're one double-double away from tying Sylvia Fowles' record for most consecutive double-doubles. So just what has that mean, meant to you so far this season? Um, it's meant a lot to me. Um, I'm just playing, playing the game. I didn't know I was break, breaking these records until you guys have mentioned it. But I'm just doing whatever it takes to win. I'm happy to be, I'm um, just to be mentioned with Sylvia Files, Simone Augustus. It's it's really a blessing, and I'm happy. Eight turnovers, Jim. You didn't ask me yet. We're gonna celebrate. <laughs> Two to one. We had 18 assists, Lex. Maybe to eight turnovers. Two to one <laughs> ratio, baby. See, that's a positive, right? Great uh, lead into my question for Lex. Uh, I wanted to ask you about your your court vision, especially tonight. But it seems like the last couple games, uh, it's really sort of uh, been something that you've been able to display at a much more efficient rate. What's been the difference? Is it more of your teammates giving you better targets, or is it you seeing the court better? Or how would you explain that? And then just when you're in this when you're in this kind of stretch, how does it feel just in terms of your performance? And do you feel like you're having as good of a game as as you did tonight? Um. I say uh, obviously a part of it's me, but it's, I give credit to my teammates. They're the ones making the shots. Um, I find them and they do the job for me. Um, I can't assist myself. So um, yeah, I give I give all that credit to my teammates, man. Um, I get mad when they don't take shots because that's what I'm setting them up to do to shoot the ball. <coughs> um, what was the second part of your question? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like I'm having a complete all-around game because I'm not just making, like, getting points, points for myself, but I'm making my teammates better. And, you know, if I can get them confidence, and I know I can go score the ball. So my job is to make everybody else around me better. It's not just – it's not all about scoring. And last year that was my role, but I'm in a different role this year, and that is to make everyone else around me better. And Coach Moki gets, gets on me a lot for passing up shots, but I'm just having fun with my teammates scoring and I'm scoring. We having fun. I think that's the most important right now.
Kim, was it difficult keeping the uh, uh, ceremony for um, Simone from distracting y'all, or did you have to work hard at that? They might can answer it for themselves. They didn't have to do today what I had to do. Um, I'm tired. I need to go home. I need to turn my phones off and sleep. I'm not used to being up at the gym that many hours ahead of a game. We had the reception. We had the unveiling. But what a memory. What a memory. And to think I got to see it, uh, got to hear Bob talk, got to hear Simone talk. Um, it, it's, it was just great. And I don't know that it affected them because they got to see Simone yesterday and visit with her, but I don't know that it took them out of their routine today. My routine was different, but I don't I don't think theirs was. Could the players answer? Sure. Was it a distraction at all? Um, I don't think it was a distraction. That could have been an excuse for us coming out slow, but I told the team early, let's not make anything a distraction. I mean, it's family day. It's alumni day. It's a lot going on, um, but we just have to stay focused like we always do and just have this like as a regular game. That's what she said. <laughs> Coach, I w I'd like to, you to reflect on just the, the overall, just her ceremony, your team's play, the alumni here, um, a, lot of, a lot of great things happening, the size of the crowd, et cetera. Well, what do you write first? Because they're all wonderful. Uh, probably start with Simone's statue unveiling the first female ever in the, I guess, the history of LSU sports. I'd start there. Um, a team that's 18 and 0. Uh, I mean, there's just so many things you can write, um, and they were all wonderful and meaningful. Um, and and it, it's it's good when you can play every player, particularly if they're, you know, it's parents' night. That's not always the case, uh, but everybody got to play, and uh, we will now go to another reception for Simone and families upstairs. And um, I, I was proud of. Um, the crowd, the crowd. Um, there's a lot more basketball to be played in this arena this year, and I hope it continues to be 11, 12,000. Lex, uh, just the message that Kim is kind of sending that you haven't necessarily accomplished anything. You've done what you're supposed to do. You've seen her team last year. You've seen basketball around here long enough to kind of know that. Does it resonate with y'all that you, you still got work to do? Oh, absolutely. Um, I've won a Big 12 championship and an SEC championship, so I've kind of I know what it looks like and I know what it takes. Um, I'm one of the older ones with experience. Um, we have ways to go. We're nowhere near our um, full potential, but we're working every day towards those towards that goal. And I believe in this team. I believe in coach, and I feel like we'll get it done. Uh, Coach Coach Starkey was a big part of this weekend, um, and I just want to know what's it been like to coach with him for a year, and what makes him this defensive mastermind that we you know have heard about for years. Well, I think you're selling Bob short to call him a defensive mastermind. I think Bob is a head coach that chooses not to be a head coach. He can do it all. Uh, if you just limit him to this defensive side of the ball, I don't think you really understand how good he is. He's good at when I don't want to get on him, he gets on him. He's good at making suggestions in the game but not giving me too many suggestions. Uh, Matchups is a big deal to me. If we've got the wrong people matched up with the opponent, um, I struggle with that. That means you haven't done enough film work. Um, he is – one that loves to be in the film room, I don't. I don't. I am, and, and I'm not AD, what is that called, attention deficit. I'm not any of that. When I was a player, tell me who I need to guard, tell me your tendencies, show me the film, let's get to work. And I kind of coach like that. I don't want to be in the film room for two hours or be on the floor for two to three hours this time of the year. Let's get our work done. And our practices move fast. Um, he just has so much knowledge. He's a big book reader. He shares books with our team and has them do reports. In fact, I think they have one due this next week, um, coffee bean or something yeah. along those lines. But um, I love that. And it also brings new ideas to me as the head coach. Uh, you don't ever want to become stagnant. This is for Angel. There was a play in the fourth quarter. Um, 
what LSU was winning, I think, by over 20, where there was an errant pass, and the Auburn guard, Sydney Shaw, got the ball, and it looked like she was going to have a, a breakaway layup. And you met her at the paint with your arms up, and she had to pull up, pick up her dribble, pass out, and they didn't get anything. I was wondering what, what you recall thinking during that play. And second, do you think that play in any way epitomizes your attitude toward defense and how you want to play basketball regardless of the situation? Yeah, I mean, I love defense. I mean, I try not to take any plays off. And, I mean, that could have been a momentum. No matter the matchup, we could have been up 20. We could have been up five. We could have been down two. I would always hustle back for that. Um, sometimes in games like that, many players may not do that. So I have an attitude where no matter what the score is, I'm going to hustle back and get that. So I try my best um, to do whatever I can on the defensive end because, I mean, Coach emphasized that. And I know if I didn't get back on defense, she probably would have taken me out. So I try to stay on the court. So, Kim, would you give us a preview of Arkansas? This is the first team that you're getting in a rematch and what they might try to do to change the outcome? Well, I, I don't know what they'll do on the defensive end that might be different. You don't change your identity offensively. You know they spread the floor on you. They're very hard to guard. They shoot the three ball. They love layups and they love free throws. And I thought we had great help by Ladeja Williams in that game. If I remember, she had like 15 rebounds. Uh, so we've got to get in the film room. We've got to watch their current games. And let's see how much they've improved. Have they improved more than we have improved? That may be a good question. We'll see. Last question here with Zoe. Uh, Coach Melky. Excuse me, going up against Arkansas, what is the key to staying high when it comes to shooting from the field and trying to make sure you guys hit 100% from the free throw line since you guys shot 66.7% tonight? That's good for us. That's close <laughs> to 70. We rounded up at LSU. So anything like .65, we, we, we round that up to 70. Mm -hmm. um, I don't harp on free throws. I just kind of tell them I hope it doesn't come down to making a free throw and you miss. Uh, they want to make them, you know, it's it's just get up there and shoot, quit thinking about it. I've said it all, all along. I think Angel may be an example from the beginning of the season, and if you erase that and start one conference, she's shooting what from the free throw line. It's maybe in the 70s now, right? So that's outstanding. So those are goals you give them. It's like erase the first part of the season, and let's start from conference. And I think, you know, Angel has, has proven it. It matters to her to, to be a good free throw shooter. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.